Greetings, Sky Watchers, and happy 2021! Welcome to the sky above us. I'm James Albury, and I'm your tour guide to the night sky. Can you believe it? It's the beginning of the 21st year of the 21st century. In that span of time, we've had 91 eclipses, over 600 meteor showers, more than 7,000 sunrises, and get this, more than 360 planetary conjunctions. Now, don't worry about having missed most of that stuff. The good thing is, I'm here to give you a heads up on the cool things to look out for this year. What am I talking about? Well, let me show you. Let's first talk about eclipses. An eclipse occurs when there is a geometric alignment of the Sun, Earth, and the Moon. We have four such alignments in 2021, producing two lunar eclipses and two solar eclipses. Let's talk about the solar eclipses first. A solar eclipse happens when the Moon passes between the Sun and Earth, allowing the Moon to cast its shadow onto the surface of the Earth. If you're under that shadow, you can experience a solar eclipse. The Moon's orbit is not a perfect circle, but instead it's a shape called an ellipse. Because of this, there are times when the Moon is closer to us than at others. When the Moon is at its furthest point from Earth, we say it's at Apogee. When the Moon is at its closest point to Earth, we say it's at Perigee. If a solar eclipse happens when the Moon is at Apogee, the Moon will be too far away from us to completely cover the disk of the Sun. This produces what we call an annular solar eclipse. On June 10, 2021, there will be an annular solar eclipse visible in northern Canada, Greenland, and northern Russia. Six months later, on December 4th, 2021, the Moon will be near perigee and will have another solar eclipse. This one will be a total solar eclipse. Unfortunately, totality will only be visible in Antarctica. If you decide to travel to any of those places to watch the eclipse, make sure you view it safely. Due to the brightness of the Sun, solar eclipses are dangerous to observe. The safest way to view a solar eclipse is to use the pinhole projection method to project an image of the eclipse onto a flat surface. You can also choose to wear special eye protection designed specifically for observing solar eclipses. Two weeks before or after a solar eclipse, we can experience a lunar eclipse. This happens when the Moon passes into the Earth's shadow. Both Earth and the Moon cast two shadows an inner darker shadow called the umbra, and a lighter outer shadow called the penumbra. If the Moon only passes through the penumbra, we will see a penumbral lunar eclipse. The last four lunar eclipses we had were all penumbral, and were just barely noticeable. When the Moon passes through only a portion of the darker part of the shadow, the umbra, we call it a partial lunar eclipse. We will have a partial lunar eclipse on November 19th, 2021 exactly one year from the date when we recorded this episode. When the Moon passes completely into the darker part of Earth's shadow, we have a total lunar eclipse. These are my favorite because the Moon turns various shades of red during totality, and it stays that way for almost an hour. In 2021, we get a total lunar eclipse on May 26, 2021. Unfortunately for those of us on the east coast of North America, we only get to see the beginning of this eclipse. The Moon sets just as it enters totality. We'll have to wait until May 16th, 2022 to see a total lunar eclipse again from the beginning to the end. Alright, next on our list, meteor showers. Meteor showers happen when Earth passes through the dust and rocks left behind by comets. The quadranted meteor shower happens the morning of January 3rd. Unfortunately, the waning gibbous Moon will wash out many of the fainter meteors. The same is true for the Lyrid meteor shower in April and the Leonids in November. But there's hope. The ever popular lovely Perseid meteor shower will grace the sky on the morning of August 12th. Fortunately, the Moon will be in its waxing crescent phase that day, so it won't pose a problem. Lastly, let's talk about conjunctions. If you happen to have a clear horizon and go outside immediately after sunset on the evening of January 10th, you may catch a triple conjunction between Jupiter, Mercury, and Saturn. Since all three planets appear close to the Sun right now, this one will be very challenging to see. 
Therefore, set your calendar to 6 a.m. on the morning of March 5th, where Jupiter and Mercury are going to do a repeat of the great conjunction Jupiter had with Saturn in 2020. Mercury and Jupiter will be less than a full moon width apart. Venus and Mercury do the same thing right after sunset on May 29th. Venus and Mars get crazy close in the early evening of July 13th. Mercury practically drives over Mars right after sunset on August 18th. And to close out 2021, Venus, Mercury, Saturn, and Jupiter have a quadruple conjunction right after the sun sets on December 29th. 2021 is going to be an amazing year for astronomy, so get outside and check it out. Before you do, make sure you click on the subscribe button below. The stars will thank you for it. And if you'd like to support our program, click on the Patreon link in the description and you could qualify for Autograph the Sky Above Us memorabilia and you could see your name in the credits of our next episode. The universe is yours to explore as long as you remember to keep looking up.